Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Age of Origins at Wacker Rush Gaming. You've started playing Age of Origins or you've been playing a while and you want to maximize your rewards in game. If one of your answers is yes to these questions, then this is the video for you. Today we will look at 20 things you must do in Age of Origins to get as many rewards as possible. First thing I do on a daily basis when I log in is to collect the ranking crates. There are crates to collect on the global ranking and another on the nation ranking tab. Early game you will need to stay very active to make sure you are continuously recruiting troops. You will have two camps, two factories and one workshop to recruit your troops. Continuously ensure they are always actively recruiting troops. Next, go to your merchant docks. Make sure you have collected your login rewards. Once claimed, go to your black market trade. I tend to sell food and oil but never steel and mineral. Whilst playing the game, you will be rewarded with abundance of food and oil but barely enough steel and minerals. This is the reason why I avoid selling steel and minerals. As a free to play and low spender, I will avoid using my gold to buy anything. However, the black market cash that I've built up, if there were fuel or exclusive item that appears, then I will definitely get them. Finally, I will go in the exchange store and I also, I tend to aim to exchange items for fuel as I find fuel being one of the common commodities that is required in many events. This, you will need it a lot. Then jumping onto the depot, resource sale. I will only take the free resource without spending any gold. Next, to the biochemical lab, click on the task that is on the top of the building. Claim the supplies. You can explore for unique supplies three times a day. There are three unique colors that you need to be aware of. The green supplies is the lowest value, followed by the blue supplies, then the purple supplies. For free to play and low spenders, I tend to encourage to chase for the elite recruitment order. It is not easy to obtain purple grid heroes, so over time, you can see I've amassed 39 elite recruitment orders, which I will use in the event to accomplish other event tasks. Fifth, whilst still on the biochemical lab, complete the routine heal on both Lady in Red and Sire. Afterwards, complete any intimacy task that you will have on both Lady in Red and Sire. By increasing the intimacy level of Lady in Red and Sire, you will get biochemical technology points. Consequently, the biotechnology points are then used to research the biochemical genes to increase the stat bonuses of your biochemical zombies. Next, jump to your command center to complete your three recruitment order. Seventh, go to your embassy and collect the Alliance Daily Quest crates and any Alliance gifts. Check out your city hall to collect any daily crates. Then nine is to make sure your construction hand is always busy building and your academy is busy researching something. Don't forget to always request help from your Alliance as this will speed up the processes respectively. On the 10th step, jump to the Commander Skills and claim the skills that you need to activate. In my Commander Skills, I've ensured I can select Harvest every 12 hours. There may be others, but make sure you use them daily, otherwise it will be wasted. Next, make sure you deplete your stamina. I would start by exploring the ruins two times, then making two rallies to ensure my daily entitlements of ruins are completed. The ruins are pretty easy way to grab some quick rewards. If you pushed for time, did you know you can make two ruins rally in tandem? All you need to do is make sure that there are made on two different ruins. If you don't do this, you're truly missing out. The reason I'm asking you to deplete your stamina is also due to the fact when attacking monsters, you will get some resource chest, some officer's XP book, and some commander XP. In the long run, these are extremely beneficial for you and your growth. Go to your alliance page and challenge the elite zombies to get some rewards, including mutant meat for leveling up your titans. Complete infinite zombies. You only need to play this properly once a week. Afterwards, you can use the auto function to play for the rest of the week. Infinite Zombies gives you TD coins, which you can use to exchange in the store for some materials. If you would like to know more on how to get amazing high score in the Infinite Zombies, then check out this video on the link above, or alternatively, I've added a link in the description below. Did you know you can increase your stats through the Elite Equipment Facility? That's exactly what you should do, as melding the component is one of the daily quests that you need to accomplish. Now, we have already at number 16, the Distribution Center. 
as you accomplish all the above tasks, you'll be earning yourself some diligence points, which when achieved the milestones will reward you with Z coins, completing each reward track with unlock the crates, earning you more amazing rewards. The Z coins that you earn can then be used in the exchange store. I tend to use the Z coins for purple officer fragments, but if I see blue officer fragments of Ginger, Hacker or Godfather, that would also be the one I would grab. Many folks forget that you can also recruit biochemical zombies. However, in order to be able to recruit biochemical zombies, you need fallen soldiers. And biochemical zombies are a great tube type for the Medici event. I've previously made a video on how to rank high in the Medici's event. I've added the link in the description below if you would like to check it out. Did you know there's a mini game in Age of Origins that will give you some rewards? It's pretty cool and a really simple game. As long as you're a good mathematician, you will surely win this easy peasy. In exchange, you will get some Commander XP for every level completed. I can see up to 80 levels to be completed, maybe there's more, but for now, I don't see it. Before you log out of each time, make sure your troops are sent out for farming. The reason being, it is pretty tight to achieve all your daily quest objectives without farming. So, whilst you may be busy logged out, at least your troops are being productive and the next time you're logged in, you can recall them and they will hit those exclusive milestones that most folks will struggle to achieve. Finally, we are at number 20. Before the end of the day, go to your daily quest and check that you've obtained 360 points. If you haven't, there are three quick things that you can do to get it. Visiting another person's island will get you 10 easy points. Reinforcing another member of your alliance with 1,000 troops, one time will earn you another 10 easy points. And then the last but not least easy one is sending resources to another player will quickly get you the final 10 easy points. Doing this daily, vigilantly, will ensure you stay relevant and will get maximum rewards from the game. It will roughly take someone an hour of 100% focus if they were to do this religiously every day. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.